The Perfect Nanny is a gripping thriller penned by Leila Slimani, a Franco-Moroccan journalist and author. Initially inspired by a real-life tragedy in New York City, where two children were murdered by their Dominican Republic-born caretaker, Slimani relocates the story to Paris, France. The nanny in the novel is portrayed as a white, native French woman. Through this narrative shift, Slimani delves into the themes of racism, classism, and sexism, particularly in the context of motherhood and the role of caregivers. The Perfect Nanny received critical acclaim and was honored with the prestigious Prix Goncourt, the highest literary prize in France. This study guide is based on the 2018 translation by Sam Taylor, published by Penguin Books. In its original French edition, the novel is titled Chanson d'Aus, 2016. Please note that The Perfect Nanny contains content depicting violence, including murder and child abuse, as well as themes of spousal abuse, racism, sexism, and classism. The plot unfolds through an omniscient third-person narrator, starting with a shocking scene where the nanny, Louise, commits the heinous act of killing the two children under her care, Adam and Mila. The story then takes us back one year, providing a flashback that reveals the events leading up to the tragic incident. Paul and Miriam Mass, parents of Adam and Mila, seek a nanny as Miriam desires to resume her career as an attorney. Although hesitant to entrust their children to someone else's care, Miriam is dissatisfied with the role of a housewife and a stay-at-home mother. After rejecting several candidates who fit certain stereotypes, immigrants, women of color, non-native French speakers, they hire Louise. She appears well-groomed, polite, and is a native French speaker. In the eyes of Paul and Miriam, Louise embodies the image of the perfect nanny. As the story progresses, Louise becomes indispensable to the Mass family, going beyond her duties of childcare. Louise's role in the Mass household extends beyond childcare, as she takes on responsibilities such as cooking, cleaning, and even fixing household items. Her dedication is evident through her willingness to arrive early, stay late, and occasionally spend the night at the Mass home. When the family decides to go on a vacation to Greece, they invite Louise along to care for the children, allowing themselves a more relaxing time. However, tension arises during the trip when Louise reveals her inability to swim, preventing her from accompanying the children in the sea. This revelation forces Paul and Miriam to confront the class differences between themselves and Louise, leading to moments of unease and realization of societal disparities. Throughout the narrative, racism, classism, and socioeconomic factors continue to shape the dynamics in the mass household, creating further tension. For instance, Miriam disapproves of Louise's frugal approach to food, while Louise cannot bear to waste anything. The family's frustration grows when they receive a tax notice indicating that Louise's wages need to be garnished due to unpaid taxes. Louise downplays the situation, dismissing it as a mistake and keeping the extent of her financial burdens hidden. As the household tensions escalate, fragments of Louise's background are gradually revealed. She has a history of abuse from her ex-husband Jacques, and her daughter, Stephanie, has run away from home. Louise carries the weight of inherited debts from Jacques and lacks a support network aside from a solitary acquaintance, Wafa, whom she meets at the park. Additionally, Louise has struggled with mental health issues, receiving treatment at Henri Mondor Hospital. The novel does not depict the actual murder of Adam and Mila, but it becomes apparent that Louise is responsible for their tragic deaths. In the concluding chapter, the narrative shifts to an epilogue narrated by Captain Mina Dorval, the detective assigned to investigate the murder. Despite her diligent efforts to piece together the events leading up to the tragic incident, Dorval remains perplexed by Louise's motive for killing the children. The implication is that she may never fully comprehend the reasons behind such a heinous act. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.